not just America's card room. We're the world's card room. A place where everyone comes together to play the game we all love. We are all unique, all competitive, and all striving to be the best. But at the end of the day, through thick and thin, we are all in together. There are those who play the game. And then there are those who pour blood, sweat, and tears into every hand. This one's for the fighters. Progressive Knockouts and America's Card Room. From the Lodge Poker Club in beautiful Round Rock, Texas, welcome to Poker Night at the Lodge. My name is Slick Rick Epstein, along with my partner each and every week, Mikey the Skull Reisman, Mike. And, and first of all, before we, we get into some big things happening, we want to apologize for the late start. There was some lightning in the area yesterday, and we had to work some magic on some, some uh, of our equipment. But Mikey, you ready for a big one tonight? Rick, let's get it started. Screw the Bruins. Let's go Islanders. Big night here. 5-5 five, five uncapped. We spun the wheel, and it landed on the Deuce 7 bounty game. So we are playing the Deuce 7. Anybody who wins a hand gets $50 from every player. Let's go around the table real quick. We got Tony Miles at C1 buying it for 10 k World Series of Poker. Big Daddy Chaz. I know some of you are familiar with him, but this is his first time on stream here at the Lodge in for 8 k Scotland is free in the three seat for 8 k Big Daddy Bones. In the four seat for 9K. Noah, a.k.a. Knowledge, in the five seat for 5K. Big Tony back in business here in the six seat for 5K. The world famous John G in for 10,500. We got E in the eight seat coming in for 7,250. And then in the nine seat, not bringing any bit brisket, but yeah. it's mixing it up in for 5K. Mixon promised us brisket, no brisket. There's a mark on him. We're already into the first hand. Looks like we've got a call for mixing it up with his pair of nines. Flush draw for Bones. There's the 10. 12 outs for Bones. And Bones is thinking about it. Goes check, check. Onto the river. The deuce of hearts. And mixing it up is going to take a little stab at this. 243 already in the live chat. We appreciate you joining us. And once again, we apologize for a little bit of late start. And mixing it up is going to take it down with his pair of nines. Skull Mike, some big news on the felt last night around 2.30 a.m. Oh, God. Slick Rick just took down. Humble brag. Humble brag. Just took down the Friday night freeze-out tournament. Three left. I was chip leader. I said, look, guys. It's weak let's sauce. chop it up. That's weak sauce, let's, Rick. Let's, let's each, each take home 1100 Max Payne, sounds like you were scared of Cole and didn't want to play it out. No, we had some fun. So... A little bit late, but uh, hey, we got the Bruins on tonight. Skull Mike and I have a standing $50 bet for each game of this series. When the Bruins sleep, sweep, I will pick up a 
cool two C notes out of Skull Mike's wallet Please. and have some fun with it. All Bruins fans are scared of the Islanders. They, they, they can admit it. I know it. They know it. We all know it. But we've got a huge poker game going on. Tony Miles, he joined us on Wednesday night on the Wednesday night one three thousand dollar cap game. This is a little different game, as we all know and love. Scotland with his Jack Ten is going to raise it on up to sixty. Over to John G, sitting in his seven seat, which he loves so much, in the beautiful Hawaiian shirt. I'm pretty happy not to answer the uh, why is Tony Miles playing a one three yeah. game, one thousand cap. Is he broke, Rick? Yeah, we answered that about seventeen yeah, times. I don't think so. Tony Miles, of course, 2018 runner-up in the World Series of Poker main event. Took down a cool five mil. Lost to Johnson that night. and uh, Or that long night. That was a long night. He's wearing his Seattle Seahawks DK jersey. Metcalf. I'm really happy that uh, Big Daddy is here from San Antonio. We had a good chat before. We're, we're working on some sort of San Antonio-Austin soiree where we're going to pit the greatest players from San Antonio – Against the greatest players of Austin. Yeah, they want to fly the flag, have some pride. You know, San Antonio always claims that they have the world's best breakfast tacos. Austin says, no, you don't. So we're going to say poker players. Yeah, Maybe battle it out, see who's best. And I think I know deep down already who it is. We're going to work it out. Our friends from Rounders. Roll we'll down, see what happens. Roll down there in a limo, maybe party bus. Show them who's boss, a little home and away action. And... Joke of the night will still be at 9.15, even though we got a little late start. It's 8.30 Central Time. Let's do the overtime number, Mikey. The overtime number tonight for a Saturday night. Smooth 500. 500, but we'll make it 10.45 since Whoa. we got a, a little late start. Cutoff time, not 10.30 tonight, 10.45. 10.45 is the cutoff for the overtime, but it's 500, a big number. We already got a bunch in there. King 5-4. Skittles the rainbow uh is the flop john g says damn great lineup heavy hitters absolutely skull mike does his homework yeah this he does is not disappoint this is murderer's row tonight usually i load it up with some decent action players but still this is some big money players some well-known players and some players that you normally don't want to see at your table because they're straight crushers and they're usually going to take your money but when everybody's a player at the table there can only be one maybe two or three big winners, and we're about to find out tonight on the program this evening. It's actually E and Scotland in the hand. E will take it down. And as always, the first few hands of the night, the readers get yeah, a little warmed we, up. We were working on some things, too. We tried to make a, a different type of incentive in the game here, but then we just elected to do the uh, the do seven tonight. So the do seven is on. Hopefully we see some big bluffs. 330 in the live chat. And we've got some great news to tell you, and we'll tell you throughout the night. As always, seems like every Saturday we bring out some good news, but got a late 2.30 a.m. text from another vlogger, Poker Beast, said, can I make it for the Wednesday night stream? Poker Beast vlogger will be with next-gen vloggers on our Wednesday night stream this coming Wednesday, June the 2nd. Can't wait for that one. That should be fun. Over to Big Tony, 7-6 offsuit. We'll make the call. John G. on the button. Gets out of the way. Over to E in the small blind. He'll come along. Mixing it up will get out of the way, as does Tony Miles. Nice to see Skull Mike's hoodie back in the chat. Skull Mike's hoodie. He was good luck for me last week, so Islanders playing again on a Saturday night. So we welcome back Skull Mike's hoodie. Four to the flop, Queen 7-9, Skittles. And open in a straight draw for Scotland. It's a pair of sevens for Big Tony. Scotland is three! A pair of queens for E. So let's see what happens here. Scotland's going to make it a buck oh five. Hundred and five dollars from Scotland. Big Tony gets out of the way. E asks how much the bet was. Aaron tells him. E will come along for 105. Big Daddy gets out of the way. Heads up between Scotland and E for the second time in a row. This time we see the cards. Three of clubs on the turn. Not much happening there. Scotland has five outs. You see that some of his outs have already been spoken for. So he's only got the four jacks 
and one remaining six that he can hit. All the others are used. Three twenty-five for E to call. Scotland putting the pressure on. He makes the call with his queen way in the lead. Scotland looking to bink a jack or a six. That's not going to do it. He does pair up with his eight. But E is going to win this as long as he Yes, uh, this is Big Daddy Chaz's first night, first ever appearance on the Lodge live stream. We really appreciate him coming aboard. Skull Mike gave him a call, closed the deal, and here he is, gracing the felts here at the Lodge. Big bet from Scotland. It's going to force E. He's got the pair of queens, but that's it. Going to address the table volume a little bit. And Scotland with the big bet and Squadouche. All he had was Squadouche. Had a nine high. I actually had a pair of eights. So his pair of eights beat the pair of queens from E with the big bet. 400 in the live stream. Slick Rick along with Skull Mike. Skull Mike will be right in here in a second. We're keeping an eye on that Bruins game. I'm sure you'll, you may hear a scream or two. But we've got poker to talk about. Joke of the night at 9.15. One if you like it, two if you don't. Everybody knows the rules. On to the next hand. Aaron is in the box. Lodge is a happening place right now. So we'll move on to the next one. I believe there's 12 cash tables going on right now. There's two tournaments. The Art of Poker is finishing up. And then we just started the Bounty Tournament. It's just crazy. It's just another, another Saturday night at the Lodge. Overtime number is 500 tonight. And we'll give you till 1045 since we started uh, late. So 500 is the overtime like number. go on to the next hand yellow chips are 1000 purple chips are 500 black chips are 100 green chips are 25 red chips are five dollars and there you see a big bet 550 for mixing it up with his king queen offsuit here we go folks all right i'm back in town rick here we go big bet big daddy Chaz faces five 550 bet by mixing it up with the king queen offsuit big daddy here in the big blind just gonna rip it all you can eat shove this man is not scared says i don't think you're gonna call your entire stack right now so big daddy going here we after go it. big daddy loves playing deep stack poker Mixon's not gonna be end up calling this this is gonna just gonna get through good on big daddy just knowing what what button to press? A quick fold. Look at that. Big Daddy says, I don't get scared. I'm from San Antonio. Doesn't get scared at all. And he plays a lot of deep stack poker on a regular basis, whether it be in San Antonio, here in Austin, whatever card room it may be. And if Mixon wasn't familiar, now he is familiar that uh, there might be a new Boston town. C2 up 890. Nice, nice little squeeze play there, taking it down without even seeing any cards. Picks up a purple chip, two green chips. Very easy. Just go all in and mixing it up folds. Yeah, we've got some great announcements coming. We mentioned earlier 
on Wednesday night. We're having the, the kids from the, the boys from Next Gen Poker uh, along with the Poker Beast coming on Wednesday. June 7th is Ladies' Night, so we, we've got some special announcement there. A lot of our viewers are going to be really excited to know that Ruth Hall, the great Ruth Hall, and Nakia will be in the booth on June the 7th as Skull Mike and Slick Rick are going to be on assignment. Special assignment. Very special assignment. We may have some news. We'll, we'll keep it on the down low. But Nakia will be joining us in the booth later on tonight because we wanted to show her the bunker. You know, if she's going to be coming down and test her out. Test her out. Put a, put a headset on her, so look for Nakia later on in the show. I know a lot of people. So, boys, we are playing the 2-7 uh, games in play tonight. So you see Bones 3-betting the 400, and he shows it. There it is, 50 it. from everybody. It's a quick $400. Nice. Bones takes it down, 2-7 game in play, and shows it. Gets paid. Nobody wants to dance. Look, look at the smile on Bones' oh, face, oh no. you know? No. Boston just scored. All right, here we go. Oh, no. We're going to lose Mikey, you know, and you know, Mikey wears his heart on his sleeve for these Islanders, and it's a 30-minute delay, so who knows when you're watching it. Oh, no. Slick Rick and Skull Mike here. Uh, but So we have Ladies' Night on the 7th. Of course, on the 5th, we'll have another great stream. That's a week from tonight. Then it's Mike Matisau week, June 9th through the 12th. Mike Matisau will come to the lodge. He'll play on our Wednesday stream, play a meetup game on Thursday and Friday for a few hours each day. And then the Saturday stream on the 12th. Uh, so he'll be here for a Wednesday and Saturday. Uh, that's June 9th through the 12th. Mariano comes back to the lodge. June 16th through the 19th, 19th, he'll be here on a Wednesday night and Saturday stream along with some meetup games in between. And then the huge one, June 26th. I don't know what we're calling it, but it's a big game. Twenty-five fifty uncapped, $10,000 minimum buy-in for that game. And Chance Corneth, Kitty Co. On the, on the schedule to appear in that big game. So lots on the horizon. 10, 10, uh, 5, 5, 10, 20, 40 on for this hand. Here comes the bet from Tony Miles. Tony Miles, 2018 runner-up finisher. He's been a pleasure. He's been here all week, Mikey. Great guy. Very nice Giving lots of action. Queen 7-3. Two clubs. Pair of queens for Big Tony. Way in the lead. Great kicker. Big Tony, fan favorite. Between Big Tony and John G, their shirts. Yeah, looking, very nice. Like a Hawaiian vacation over here on table 11. Got a first super chat tonight, Jeff Nitschke. Here's to hoping y'all get some deviled eggs, as he mentions that, because Nakia, you know, there's so many nuances of this show. Had somebody pull me aside and just today, just telling me over and over how many nuances he knew. You know, he went to weak sauce. He went to the deviled eggs. You know, he went to overtime. He, he just so many things that he told me. He's there's, a watcher. He's a studier of the program. There's a special update though on the, the normal lines that we fire out on a week to week basis. As you know, the show is huge in the Netherlands. Yes. Still big. In the Philippines. Yeah. It was growing in India. It was growing in India, but India has moved into the fourth spot. All right. Now growing in Germany. Germany. Germany has moved into the three hole. Got some messages that they love Rick's jokes. From Berlin. They've been telling it over there in the beer gardens of <laughs> Munich. <laughs> so if you're uh, watching from India, you better make yourself known in the chat. Yeah, the wheel will appear later on in the show. It, we, it, it happened during the technical difficulty, so we did, rather than keep the stream delayed even further. This guy's a gangster? His real name's Clarence. 
Clarence will make an appearance later on. There's your player position. Look at all the money on the table right now. Tony Miles, 9,800. Big Daddy Chaz, 8,800. Bones, 9,100. And you see the rest. John G. Cool, 9,900. Yeah, big game tonight, about 70K on the table to start. Tony Miles got the hoodie on. Let's do a hoodie count, Rick. We got yeah. one, two. Yeah. I think the hoodie count is only at two. Yeah, I don't know so if the nine, I don't know if mixing it up has one on, on or not. Don't think so. When you have flow like that, you can't really be rocking a hoodie. So yeah. if you had the line, the standard line is 3.5 on the hoodie count. Yeah. If you had the under tonight, you would be a winner. Only two. Relatively low, keeping it classy. Big money on the felt. Tony Miles makes it a bucket of squirt, 125, and E comes along, as does Knowledge. Knowledge played, I believe Knowledge played on Wednesday under a different name. A.K.A. Noah. Ace 810 says, it's Knowledge now. Pair of aces for Tony Miles. He's going to come along and make a bet. Knowledge gets out of the way. E says, I'll come along. I've got a pair of 10s with a king. Seven of spades. King would be trouble for E. Did do a 10, and a 10 only. Goes check, check, and there is the 10. So E gets there, seeing a free card on the turn. Connects with this river. Option on E. Let's see how much he's going to go for. Pot at 790. Looks like he's going for about 325. So a little under half pot. That's going to get snapped off, and he's going to take one down. So nice hand there by E. Tony's going to be a little bit disappointed that he checked the turn. But I don't know, depending on how big Tony would have gone there on the turn, you know, he would have likely folded. Nonetheless, E comes along, sees a free one, connects with that 10, and wins a nice pot. So E now up 225 on the evening. And Tony not throwing the party yet, but he's ordering the drinks, you know, hot dogs, some buns, maybe a little cheese. It's early, though. It is early. And the Islanders just scored, so not so early if you're too harassed. It's 2-2. Two -two. All you Boston fans in the chat, you know. Look at the, look at the happiness. You Let's know, go. You go. Adam Pellick just ties it up 2-2. Two, 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 two. No, no big deal, folks. 500 in the chat. Pair of fives for Tony Miles. And, Rick, you can uh, clean my shorts. <laughs> Put them in the washer. Do my uh, chores for a week after the Islanders win this one. Here comes Scotland, makes it at 125. Bones calls. Actually, he three bet to 500. Put one of those nice little plums out there. Bones with a pair of jacks, dos hermanos. Call them whatever you want. Jacks, hooks, whatever you want to call them. I call them dos hermanos. The two brothers. Tony Miles comes along, and it'll be heads up. Fives versus jacks. Put them together. You got Motown, Jackson Fives, Queen Nine Deuce, couple spades. Both players with a spade. Tony Miles dead to the Five of Diamonds as the Five of Clubs is spoken for. Big bet from Bones wearing the pit hat. So, a, uh, how are we hoodie. feeling about the joke tonight, Rick? Oh, I'm I'm feeling really good. You know, I it went back. Mixed result. Yeah, you count you I count the back. score. We know. I, I count the back. ones. I count the twos. I, you know, you had me worried. You know, you said uh, you know the joke was horrible, one of the worst ever. I didn't I say did, it was horrible. I did a recount, and and I'm not talking about one of these recounts you're seeing in the news. A real recount, and and I I saw, and it was 72 ones, 49 twos. Which how, how which many is the a base hit? Did you? Did you not include you know multiple ones from the same person? Because you know there's always some of those. I did, and, and multiple twos from the same person. Oh, you did that? You got that in I, depth I, I on the counted, count? I counted wow. ones and twos. Wow. You have, do you employ any people to do the counting no, for you? It That's took 20 minutes out of my day. 20 minutes? Because I was worried. You, you said it was the worst joke I ever told. I had to go no, it was a cute, to the people. It was a cute joke. I'm not one for cute jokes. All right. I told you I like it dirty. And you, so this you better, one today is dirty. Yeah, spice it up. Today is put spicy. The, put Here the kids to bed. Get out Get out there a little bit. Get out of the comfort zone, Rick. Here's E now with the Dos Hermanos. He's got the jacks now. Mixing it up. Gets out of the way. Yeah, raising it up big in the big blind here. Early position. Wants to try and isolate. Go heads up. Tony won't be folding. 
on the button in position makes the call. So we're going to go heads up between E and Big Tony. Nice to see Big Tony back in the mix. He's been out of town for about a week. I mean, I'm sorry, about a month. His uh, you know, family's big into BMX racing and whatnot, so he's been doing some of that stuff. But he's back on table 11. Under the lights! And he's in a big hand here with E, but E has the best of this flop. Two pair, kings and jacks. Small bet of 350. And looks, looks like Big Tony's going to keep him honest, make the call here. So now pot close to 2K. Aaron's going to bring us a turn. Ooh, hello. Ooh, Boat City. E hits the, the jack. Let's see. Just lock this bad boy up. Trying to figure out the best way to proceed. He's hoping. Boy, is he hoping that Big Tony has a king. You know, king, queen. Maybe a trapped ace king, unlikely because he's on the button and didn't four bet pre. So he's not going to trap this. He's really hoping. It's very possible that maybe Tony could be holding that king. So he's going to make him pay for it 1.1, but we see Big Tony just has ace queen. But Tony has not folded yet, has that look in his eye, counting up E's stack, giving E a stare. But boy, would this be trouble for Tony if he elects to get frisky. And thinks better of it. Looks to be in the folding position. Oh, whoa, there oh, you oh, go. Good fold. Folds. Good fold for Tony. And we'll go on to the next hand. Yeah, we've had jacks a couple times. All right. Night 519 in the live chat. Overtime number is 500 by 1045 Central Time. We gave you usually cutoff times 1030 as you have that queued up. But uh, tonight, 1045. Because of the lightning strike yesterday, it was raining hard. Yeah, that was pretty wild. Wind yesterday. and rain. Bunker depth, 40.1 feet below. We were sinking fast. It, was, it wasn't just raining for five minutes hard. It was a good hour of steady downpour. It was. Soaking and wind. rain. Soaking rain. It's like a mini tropical storm. Yeah. Felt like I was on the island of St. Thomas. Shout out to Mike Harris if you're watching from afar. Uncle Mike Harris. Say hi, Rick. He's an Islander fan. Hello, Mike Harris. And there was somebody else we were supposed to say hello to tonight. Can't remember who. So many emails, so many text messages. If I was supposed to say hello to you, this is your chance. Hello, how are you? And you. And most especially you. For somebody who doesn't like it, you start teed that up for me. <laughs> you, you just I took Skull Mike for a great slice of pizza that was on good. Friday. That was good. I'm not going to lie. That was very good. I'm going to go back there for sure. Eight deuce five, couple hearts. Might go there tomorrow. There it is. Yeah. I don't think they're open on Sunday. Oh. Check the schedule for Little Delhi in the Wood Woodward area. Great pizza, though. Good sandwiches, too. I hook you up. I tell you about hoodies. I tell you about Little Delhi. I do. Five on the river. And Looks like I teach you about poker, and then all you do is just final table and start start banking up wins. Just see, it all it. comes around full circle. I can't I was, believe you chopped it. I Chip almost, leader, three way. Play it out to the end. What are you, got, you tired? You gotta go home and go to bed. No, Play it out. I, I've got to tell you, I've got. I, I took a bad beat. I took a two outer then, early on for about eighty percent of my chips. Instead of going on tilt, I I got up. I walked around the lodge. And uh, came back and regrouped. And I recommend that, folks. If you are someone who takes a bad beat and you can't, sometimes it, you let it get to you, take a little stroll. Even if it's a tournament, take a little stroll, get up out of your seat, and you'll come back fresh minded. And I, I was able to regroup. Looks like we've got 10, 20, 40 in play. Yeah. Seems to be the norm this evening. Five forty-five in the live ch live chat. Eight fifty-two Central Time. Slick Rick Skull Mike Poker Night at the Lodge on a Saturday night, having fun. Place is packed once again. Ever since we came back, it seems like each week has just gotten more and more crowded here at the Lodge. Um, you know, in June I guess we we came back maybe maybe 
April? I don't know when, when we reopened again. Hard to remember. But when we did, each week it's gotten more crowded to where it's it's packed every every day, it seems like. And we had some people driving in from, where did they drive in from yesterday? to uh, Virginia. The stream, Rick. They drove 1,800 miles. I, I, I was astonished. Now, I, I it's asked not the record them, so far. It's it, not the record. It's not, but if you're going to drive 1,800 miles, I'm going to greet you, and I'm going to. Uh, Bing tournaments. I, I bought them a coin. I, I took $20 out of my pocket. Man of the people. Went. And bought them a coin. Hey, they drove eighteen hundred miles. And what's the, you had the hat, the hoodie, plus coin. Oh yes, the 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 uh, the property, the mathematic property is hoodie plus hat plus coin equals big win. Parentheses chips. Yes, equals chips. That's it. That's it. Wow. So get did your you, hoodie. Did you hat, graduate with coin. honors? I, I did not. <laughs> Born in Bruce. Dishonor. You graduated on time, Rick? Hey, you know. Five, six years? University of Texas is a fun place. <laughs> I graduated with honors, in case you're wondering. You did? Yep, on time, too. Nice. Here comes a raise for I mix it in up with Queen 10. He's done that before. This might get through. Bones with King Queen of Hearts. He's going to say, no, he's going to ra re-raise. Or did he just call? No, he re-raised to 475. Trying to read what, what barbecue is on mixing it up's hat. I don't know. You're going to tilt me, Rick. He said he was going to bring barbecue. It's Let's Terry Black's. Terry Black's. Mm, good on. barbecue place. Mixing I wonder if he works bluff. there. He does not work there. I think this guy's a pit master. Please. Mixon a big hockey fan, though, fan of the Dallas Stars. Mixon a cool dude. Did not was not playing at all during COVID, and since uh, COVID has kind of you know winded down and people are getting vaccinated, Mixon's been here at the lodge a lot lately, and we've been playing on the one three tables, the two fives, the five five. So he's a very nice man and trying to run up some stacks here, and none other than table eleven here on a Saturday night, the best place to do so. So. Again, Murderer's Row tonight. Every player at this table is a player, has a large bankroll, and is looking to stack the player to his right or left. The mayor of Chatsville, Nick from Yuma, says, I have my Rick coin next to me that Racer Nerd was awesome, aw awesome enough to get for me. So we've got Chatsville gifting other members of Chatsville. That's what it's all about. Everybody love everybody. What movie was that from, Mikey? Everybody S Loves Everybody. Will Ferrell. Basketball movie. Oh, uh, Tropical Thunder. Tropic yeah, Thunder. Yeah, Semi-pro. Yeah. Good movie. Underrated movie. Will Ferrell. Eh, eh. We don't even got corn dogs. That's what he said. Eh. When the guy hit, when they, they scored 100 points and everybody in the stands got a corn dog and he looked to the guy next to him and says, we don't even got corn dogs. <laughs> Like count 500 people. This is the big game on Saturday night. So if you wow. want more poker, it's a holiday weekend too. So we got nowhere really to be. We have no excuses. There's more than 500 people in this chat right now. So I don't want to hear any garbage from anybody saying 500 is a big number. All every, if everybody hits the like right now, it's done and over. And we guarantee overtime at the end of the first period. So it's pretty easy if you think about it. Close down the chat real quick. Hit that like button. Boom. Overtime sealed. Big shout out to Mr. Luke Fisher. He's from New, New Zealand, but now lives in Austin. Works with my son at one of the great advertising agencies here in town. Luke Fisher, a poker player. Thanks for watching, Luke. Oh, got a little gathering there, Rick. Should I give you a little face wash? <laughs> a little face wash? <laughs> Just gave Rick a little uh, face wash in the bunker. Scared him a little bit. He was frightened. Trivia question. One of these two announcers that you're hearing right now actually played hockey. Is it A, Skull Mike, or B, Slick Rick? You actually played too? I thought you were a tennis player. Oh, God. You were junior Rick, pro, weren't Rick you? Rick doesn't even know what he's talking about. 
Trust me, I fly on skates. Rick thought it was himself he's talking about, but trust it me. was me. You don't want to see me on skates, Rick. <laughs> you want to have a skate off? You want to have a skate off? <laughs> lady alert for hey, Bones. Hey, 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 ladies. Unbelievable. Rick thinks he's Wayne Gretzky all of a sudden here. <laughs> Aaron with the flop, 10-5-3, couple of. Hearts and E's got some hearts, but Bones with the ladies. Interesting here. A lot of turn cards could help E, so he's going to be going nowhere. In position. Can even elect to raise here, but I think he's just going to end up flatting the 375 from Bones. E taking his time. How many black t-shirts do you think he owns v-necks he owns a lot of black t-shirts rarely do you see him in any other color but black if you think about it and there's the, the six there's so the he six. gets a six on the turn picks up more outs and now did bones just check i think bones slowed down a little bit so laying a little rope for e or maybe even electing for a little bit of pot control action on e might have liked to see a free one wouldn't fall to check here. But let's see. Nope. E elects to go pedal to the metal here. Firing out 825. So interesting bet. Bones in his Pittsburgh hat. RIP to the Penguins. Makes the call. So pot here brewing 3K. Needs to dodge a heart. He did. Bones, but don't, isn't going to like the no, king. Bones snap checks, though. Probably going to go into check call mode unless it goes check, check. Let's see if E wants to fire here on the river. Action on E, but we have the camera set on Bones. It goes check, check, and Bones is going to take it down. The ladies will hold, and the six no good for E. So a nice little pot there from Bones. Back on the stream. It's been a number of months that we've seen Bones on the stream. So, but, you know, Bones always one for action, one for the big game. But, again, I try to mix it up with our players in town, players from out of town, vloggers. You guys know the formula. We can't always have the same faces on the program every week. But this is, uh, again, Murderer's Row tonight. These are some of the best players that Austin San Antonio has to offer so get your notepad out. Maybe you can learn a little something tonight from the way these boys play. Rick, you got your notepad out? I always have it nearby. Matty J's in the house. He was the one who gave the wheel his name. His wheel name is Clarence. We'll always give credit where it's due. Speaking of credit, the Wizard of Lodge, a.k.a. Dave Claproth, the executive producer, he was given the Wizard of Lodge name by the mayor of Chatsville, Nick from Huma. So as we're waiting here, John G. has yet to get really involved in a hand wearing that beautiful... I spoke with John G. and... Jimmy Buffett shirt. John G. was basically talking to me, you know, pre-show. We played with him on... I played with him on the 5-5 five -five table. He said, this lineup is dangerous tonight. I'm going to have to tighten up a little bit because I don't want to get out of line and get punished. Wow. So he's going to try and tighten up a little bit and then wait for his time to strike. Look at the Lodge. I mean, come on. If you're a poker player. Lodge Mahal. You, you want to be around other poker players. This is the place. We're not talking a quiet place here. We're, we're talking well-lit, comfortable chairs. You, when you back up out of your chair, you don't bump into anybody. Look at that. Look at that room, folks. Come to the Lodge. Exit 251. Round Rock, open 24 hours a day. It's a social club. You pay either a daily, annual, or monthly membership. Once you're a member, you're in. You pay $10 an hour. There is no rake. And then for our tournaments, it's a you know, an entry fee to get in, and then you, know, you go and you pay um, for the tournament. So, But you don't pay an hourly rate, of course, for tournaments. It's just a flat rate. Don't say that, of course, because some places, some car clubs around Texas, you do pay hourly for when, us. When even playing a tournament, and I, th I thought that was ludicrous. Yes. Now, the joke hasn't happened. It will come, 
about 15 minutes. We are on a slight little break here. Let's go over the schedule once again. First of all, uh, already th uh, the last uh, two weeks, Bart Hansen, Wolfgang Poker. Uh, Wolfgang was here on Wednesday night along with Tony Miles. Tony Miles back here tonight. On June the 2nd, we've got Next Gen Poker. To uh, Frankie and Rosie are coming to town along with Poker Beast, who just texted me last night, 2.30 a.m., and said, can I get in on Wednesday? I asked old Mike, and we got him in. I had and to pull some strings, Rick. Ladies' night, June pull 7th, we're going to have the the Princess of V-Pip, Nakia, and the great Ruth Hall, Ruthless. They're going to take the mics from us. It's going to be an all-girls playing on the table, an all-girls commentating that night, ladies, I should say, and John G. wins his pot, as we just mentioned. Uh, Nikki will join us later on tonight, probably in the last 30 minutes or so. We'll get her, put her headset on, let her get familiar with the bunker, talk a little bit. I know the, the people in the Chatsville community love Nakia, have seen her on multiple ladies' nights already, have flirted with her several times in the chat. She will take uh, her and Ruth, you know. They're going to they're gonna take the reins for, for the show. We're going to give them the wheel, Mikey. Clarence? Kobe Brown with the, the super chat because I've missed the last couple of streams. Thanks, Kobe. Always a great fan. Thanks for the super chat. Yeah, I appreciate that. Wendy Cha says, love John G. Yeah, Wendy's got a crush on John G. Who doesn't? Definitely the most generous man. Of course. Noah on the button with a pair of kings raises it up to $100. Speaking of John G, he's going to make the call with a suited ace, eight of hearts. He also with hearts, getting a little bit sneaky here, makes the call, hoping into the bank. Wow. Maybe some wheel cards. Hearts would be trouble. Jack, 6'4", Skittles. Pair of kings way out in front, 73% to win. But a straight draw now for E, looking to bink at five. 150 is the bet from Knowledge. John G gets out of the way. E may come along. No one would ever see this. Little does he know there's only two fives available. Five of clubs and five of hearts. The other fives are gone. Yeah, E would have much rather preferred a heart on this flop for some backdoor flush possibilities but now just fishing for that five as you mentioned and the seven of spades no help to him on the turn he checks one more time knowledge needs to keep firing cannot allow e to see a free card tony did that once already gave e a free turn card and then he connected with it on the river knowledge reaching for chips gonna make him pay for it looks to be three or four hundred four hundred it is so I don't think this is going to uh, kind of, I don't think he's going to want to continue on this board. This might kind of price him out of connecting with it, and he elects to fold. 8,300 subscribers as we came into the bunker tonight. We are on our way to 10K. Just surged past. It just seemed like we were under 6,000. Just, we were uh, about two weeks ago. Surged past 7,000 into the 8,000 category. Right now, we have 187 likes, 906. Joke of the night, about 10 minutes from now. One if you like it, two if you don't. Everybody knows the rules. 579 in the live chat. On to the next one. Again, another $40 triple straddle. Once again, just a chip value. Those yellow chips you see. Sunburst, Starburst, Lemon Drops, whatever you want to call them. They're $1,000 each. The purple Sunflowers. Ones, sunflowers. The purple ones, the plums, those are 500 The, the black grapes. Chips, the, the black chips are 100 Green chips are 25 The licorice. Red chips are 5 The other chips you see on there, they're tip chips. That's how the dealer gets paid. He can, you cannot tip from your stack in the lodge, at the lodge. You have to tip with specially designed chips just for the dealers. Those silver ones, they're $1 each. Or the pumpkin, the black and orange, are $5 each. Here comes a rather large raise. 
the four bet to 1600 with big slick as e had made it 600 thousand on top from mix mixing it up over to e big slick versus big slick Gary Watson, thanks for the sub. Here's the call. Thanks for the pressure. I subbed. Joke better be good. Ooh. Well, players are six, six, seven, seven three. Both players whiff. Mixon was the one who raised it up. Both players pretty stoic. Action on E checks it. Pot at 3.5. Mixon just rips it all you can eat. And wow. A quick rip there, and he cannot continue. It's a big slick, and he... It's one way to play it, huh, Rick? It is. Would you have ripped it there after I whiffing on that flop for another 3K plus? No. Unlikely, right? Very unlikely. I tread. Lucky that button's not, I, not working. I tread lightly with the big slick. James Stewart, the super chat legend, comes in for oh, 25. Oh, James, you're too kind. Goes down every show, 150, 25, but we still love him. James, <laughs> He's still James, the greatest. James, a, a lodge legend, now lives out of state, but comes back to the lodge every now no, and then. No, he says he's coming back into town. Good. He's coming back, coming into Georgetown. He's back in business. We need James back here. He is a lodge legend. You gotta get James under the lights. Absolutely. Oh God, yeah. He'd be great on this show. Mixing it up, folds. Got a lot of players wearing the over-the-shoulder crossover handbag. It's a next-level thing. It's a, it's a player bag. It's a player bag. Do you, you have one of those? No, I got a backpack. I keep it '90s related. You know the. the I mean, Man purse is another level, not my style. I mean, it's 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 almost a sideways fanny pack. Yeah, sure. To each their own. Seven six deuce, couple diamonds. Neither player with any of that. Big Tony looking for five outs, looking for a king of Scotland's ace, is good. We are playing the seven deuce. If you win with seven deuce. Fifty dollars from every player. Collins has already collected one time with that. Yeah. And Scotland, one of the nicest guys. He's been a guest commentator. One of the nicest guys you'll see. And you see the button there that Aaron just put in front of E. That is a Lodge coin, a uh, or commonly known as a Rick coin. You can get one of those. Card protector, guaranteed. Look, I was using it last night when I binked the tournament. I'm just saying. And you had the hoodie on. I had the hoodie Probably on. Probably had and the t-shirt on underneath as well. It had the hat on too. If you guys want to buy some merch, shoot me an email, skullmikepoker at gmail.com or visit thelodgelive.com. It's the best way to support Rick and I besides the Super Chat is by buying some merch and rocking it in your local community or on the couch. It doesn't matter. The other way to support us is if, if you share this with about three or a hundred of your friends who like poker. Share it so we can get up to there to the 10K mark. We're going to hit it soon. 300 friends. You have 300 friends, Rick? Absolutely. Daniel. Daniel's pissing me off in the chat. Gretzky's for Tony. Miles been playing at the Lodge all week. Always has a smile on his face. Jack Nine for Knowledge. Tony and Knowledge got into a big hand. At the end of the stream on Wednesday, right when the cameras got off, that game kind of took off. Tony got the best of knowledge, and now they're at it again. 5-6-10 Skittles. Kobe Brown putting the pressure. My dad is now watching with me and anticipating a good joke. Don't let him down, Rick. My God, Kobe. Lots of pressure there. Tony Miles bets 400. Knowledge calls. These two are friends. Not on the felt, though. There's a seven. Picked up a few more outs. A jack or an eight now will do it for knowledge. 
Be a chop, though. Nope, that would be. 1,200. Knowledge going for it here. And it would not be a chop. Knowledge would have the bigger straight. That's unlikely to happen, though. But, you know, anything can happen. Tony still has the best hand in a tough spot facing a $1,200 bet. His buddy wants some of that money back. That, that yellow chip looks so nice. Looks like a yellow starburst. You know, that no one likes to eat. You know, you leave the yellow ones aside. No. You eat the you eat the strawberry no, no, ones. No, no, no. You leave the pink ones in. No, no, no. Those no. yellow ones were always delicious. Ugh. What are you talking about, Rick? No. The, the yellow the and the yellows yellow and the cherries. The Ye yellow. Yeah, Everybody knows that. <laughs> Let's see. see. Yeah, you, you, the Wizard of Lodge knows. The, no one eats the yellow ones. They leave those aside. That's why, that's why they make only Starburst with red and strawberry ones in there only. They don't have one only of yellow. <laughs> just just warming up my crickets, you know? Because you're out of line right now, and you're soon to be bombing a joke in about no. five minutes. <laughs> After Kobe Brown's dad's going to have to walk away from you. You're about to lose us a viewer. After this hand, we will have the joke of the night. One if you like it, two if you don't. Coming up. After this, you're gonna hand. go home and count all the ones and twos as soon as you get home this time, too, Rick. Or you're gonna give it. You're like, damn right, I will. You're not gonna give it a day. <laughs> Whoa, Colonel Jessup is <laughs> Colonel Jessup. Colonel Jessup is in the in the bunker tonight. One twenty-five. Here comes John G with the seven deuce. He's looking to pick up the four hundred dollar bonus. The bonus, baby. Can it get through? Scotland says I've got six eight suited. John G, one hundred twenty-five. Not enough. Scotland coming after him. UTG, 8-6 of spades. Very, very interesting. Bones comes along as well. So here we go. Let's see what happens here. 10-10-3. Nobody with a 10, but Come Bones on, has two pair. Let's see. I don't think Bones... Bones is not going to go anywhere after John G kind of bets this. I don't think. Bones and John G were talking a lot of smack on the warm-up game. 300. Early. 300. Not enough to eliminate Bones. They were talking smack to each other about sometimes there's going to be a big bluff up somebody's sleeve tonight. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Not the card really Boat for John City. G. Let's see. A thousand in the skillet. Oh Throws out goodness. a sunflower, so it makes it $1,000. Bones hates it. Does have a boat, but might be putting John on fours, fives, sixes, sevens, eights. Looks to be in the folding position. He's going to hate it. He's going to fold it. John G is going to show it. Oh, he folds. Yeah. John G collects. Yeah. Here take he it goes. Down. Take it down. They're talking to him. <laughs> talking Blow, smack. Blow, blowing him some kisses, Johnny. Blowing some kisses. <laughs> blowing some kisses. I, I was blowing, blowing some kisses too a little bit after the Islanders just whooped up on his Penguins. Now John G takes a little bit. Gets 50 from each player. All right. Here's the joke of the night. One if you like it. Two if you don't. Everybody knows the rules. Here you go. Gentleman is in the doctor's office and says, Doctor, I've had trouble. With some silent gas emissions. Yeah, I was on a date the other night, and it happened four times. Four silent gas emissions on my date. You know, the other day at the grocery store, it happened twice to, while I'm in line. Two silent gas emissions. And even just this, this right here in your doctor's office, two more silent gas emissions. Doctor looks at him and says, well, the first thing we're going to do is check your hearing. There's your joke of the night. One if you like it, two if you don't. Mikey's <laughs> laughing. There you go. Oh, God. <laughs> Everybody likes a silent gas admission <laughs> joke. <laughs> One if you like oh, it, two if you God. don't. Everybody knows the rules. It's all right. It's kind of it's kind of more more on the, the cute spectrum again rather than that's more that's not dirty. That's just gross. It's a gross <laughs> joke. We want it dirty, Rick. <laughs> hey, you like that one. That's okay. No crickets. The crickets aren't there. That's okay. 575. That's all right. Yeah, first, first two comes in. Ben gives me a two. First thing we're going to do is check your hearing. Here comes, oh, mixing it up with pocket aces. Uh-oh. Train wreck city. Queens versus aces. Oh, God. Here we go. This pot is not bigger somehow. And a some king way. comes. That may slow down. Yeah. Tony might be able to get away now. Surprised there is no five bet. Or four bet. Lots of ones, few twos. Ones have good taste. 325, mixing it, it up. It's a hit. 
It's a hit. You don't have to go home and count it. More more ones than twos. CC didn't like it, and he's drunk. <laughs> he should like it. Somehow, some way, this pot was not massive. Tony wow. gets away. That king saves him. The king saved him. Exactly. Wow. Lots of ones. Adam Root in the chat. Give him a follow. Former vlogger. Must say, Adam's uh, videos are pretty good, but he does rip on me quite a uh, quite a bunch there, Adam. Don't think I didn't hear those. Kobe, I heard him. Kobe's going to take his three dollar super chat back because his dad said, "Yeah, not good," and shook his head. Sorry, honesty. V Pip, <laughs> not very high tonight. Bones thirty eight leading the way. Yeah, if you had Bones leading the uh, V Pip, you probably pat yourself on the back, Mister Leibowitz. Probably didn't have that one. Speaking of which, <laughs> new security guard in the bunker, yes. Mr. Lieberman. Cousin. He's out there. He's a cousin of Lieberwitz. Lieberman and Lieberwitz. We have a third period that just got underway, Rick. Islanders in the zone. Daniel, I, can, I can commentate some uh, some hockey as well. Daniel G. I'll hey, spare the audience. I think hockey, uh, you know, it's I've tough. done baseball, I've done football, and I've done basketball. Hockey has to be the hardest. Yeah, because it's just continuous. Too fast. Yeah. And the names in the NHL sometimes are not the easiest. You're not good on your Russian and Czech names <laughs> yeah. or some French-Canadian names? Anthony Beauvillier? 10-10-7. Ten, ten, Tens are coming left and right tonight. Yeah, tens are hot right now. Kobe says two for my dad, one for me. Okay. Joey G said, G says stick to the goat jokes. Copacabana says it took me a few seconds, but it's a one. There we go. Cumulative winnings. There you see, mixing it up. Up 1,900. Bones up 1,200. Big Daddy Chaz from San Antonio up 1,000. Knowledge up 945. Scotland up 820. E throwing the party right now down 2,400. Let's take a look at the light count. Real Salami, you missed the joke. You're going to have to go back and rewind. Can't tell it again. Yep, you can always rewind it back and find out. Overtime light count, 500, folks. We're only sitting at 220. So we definitely need help on getting us to that number of 500 likes. Get on your horse as Big Daddy Chaz, 3-betting to 350. Ace King off. Yeah, I mean, 654 in the live chat. You figure at least 500 could smash that line. I thought that line was fair, especially on this lineup tonight. It will be. We'll make it. I off time, 1045 tonight, not 1030, 1045 as we started a little late. So we're going to give you that 15-minute grace period. But do your part, folks. <laughs> 10 again, 1064, two spades. If you have a 10 in your hand, you are in good shape as E has outflopped Big Daddy here. Checks it over to him, and Big Daddy looking to go for a C bet. Where does he go there? Is that 325 or 225? 250. Big Daddy Chaz has five outs. Big Daddy Chaz don't care. In position on E. See what he elects to do here. It might be electing to raise. Yep, going for the check raise, trying to see where he's at. Makes it 800. Going right into Big Daddy here, and now Big Daddy will release and fold. It's a nice play there by E, recognizing that his 10 was good. Takes down. Our friend Adam Rude, who visited us last month, says, Sorry, Skull Mike. I consider Rick to be low hanging fruit, so I go after you. So. He's going after you for some reason. Chris, I don't know your your donation go through, Rick. I didn't I don't know. Did did you send us something? If so, thank you, Chris. I don't know. I don't think that super chat went through. Maybe it did. I, I don't I, I don't see know. it. Sorry. Did not. Oh there Chris, it did. I'm sorry. Chris. Five dollar super chat. Where, how, how far? My bad. How far ago? Uh, right under Before Stephen Reisman says, that was great, Rick. 
So I can't even go. Your back. dad even liked that joke. I think he was talking about the Colonel Jessup there, Ricky. Wow. Um, so it did go through. My apologies there. Thank you for that donation. Oh, it did. Yeah, I'm sorry. He he did not. It was about the Colonel Jessup. Pocket aces for E. Pocket Look at Jacks this. For Scotland, Scotland races to 150. He's going to start building a pot. Makes it 625. Scotland's not going to get away from this. This is uh, another possible train wreck. The first train wreck was averted when the king hit the flop versus aces versus queens. Scotland has been on quite the heater the last two months. We were at the table the other night, and he was telling me about it. So he's been running very, very hot, and he's at least going to see a flop here. Makes the call 625. We're going to go heads Oof. up. E versus Scotland. E in good shapes with the Rockets. 973, couple spades. E way out in front. Scotland doesn't realize this, but the jack of diamonds has already been out yeah big big trouble here 500 pretty good flop for a pair of jacks ahead of all those ace kings ace queens etc first black screen to the knife don't worry we're gonna hang tight we'll come back here in just a second here the real salami gives me a one as does steven reisman here comes the turn there's another seven yeah, another good card you'd think for scotland yeah you bet 500 scotland made the call E contemplating what to bet. Looks like he's going to put about 1300 it looks like. 1400 1400 Scotland taking his time. Does this man really have queens plus? Beating a pair of tens. Unlikely that this man has a set. Beating ace king, beating ace queen. But would you fire two bullets here on a board like this? Very, very tough decision here for Scotland, but he's one of the best. But I think he's going to be in trouble here. Yeah, it's, I mean, what a flop. What a, what a, what a board texture for Jax. you got to like that. Looks to be leaning towards a fold, it looks like. He does. Oh. Taps the table and folds. A very, wow. very good fold there by Scotland. Looking at E, hopefully to see... What he had, he shows him nothing. So Scotland's going to have to wait a half hour. But then he's going to realize that he made a great fold there. Saved himself a couple thousand bucks. Cumulative winnings, you see it right there. Tony Miles now throwing the party, down 2,100. It's great having Scotland as the guest commentator. Talked a lot about kangs and sexes. What? Kings and sixes, but he says kangs and sexes. We had to get a, you know, interpreter <laughs> in, but he's a great guy. Mixing it up, another pocket pair. This time fives makes it 50. Big Daddy Chaz gets out of the way. Scotland with his A6 offsuit. Oh, no. Folds. We're good. A little scare there, Rick. A little scare. It's getting, it's getting late in this third period. Pocket queens for E. So E just waking up with premium after premium. E had a rough go in the warm-up game. Oh, shit. Goal for the Bruins. Late in the game, too. 350 is the bet with the ladies. And mixing up, folds his fives. Back over to Bones with pocket deuces. He started it. Actually... He may have just called a 50 with his deuces. Big Tony with his canine offsuit comes along. Yeah, pretty loose Three call players. there by Tony. Just wants to get active. CA flops. We're going to go three-way. E in good shape. Ace, jack, eight. That might and that makes, yeah, that'll down. slow things down. E with his ladies. They shrink up when that ace hits the board. We've all been there. Plenty of time in this ball in the Bruins game. 1340 left. 3 2 Boston. Yeah, that one stings though. Definitely stings. 
three of hearts on the turn. Still three players. Eleven hundred dollars in the skillet. Big Tony now. If he's going to win this pot, he may have to take a stab at this. But he checks over to E. Flop checks around. E might start thinking that his hand's good. Checks it again. Action on Bones. Not falling for it. Checks as well. So we're going to take a river. Nine of hearts. So the queens will hold. Everyone playing this hand pretty passively. Action on Tony. Not electing to take a stab. Has some showdown value perhaps in his nine. Let's see if he goes small. Does not. Checks again. Everybody with a pair, but East Queens are best. Action on Bones, and Bones is going to take a stab here. Here comes Bones. Goes for 650. I think. I don't think this is going to get by E. I think E's going to call this bet relatively quickly, if not snap fashion. Big Tony thinking about calling with his nine, but a little bit worried that. Still has his opponent behind him in E, who has him covered. Be pretty disgusting calling 650 here and then getting stuffed on, but that's unlikely to happen. But now if Tony calls, it's going to be kind of weird for he E does. now. He makes the call. And now E would have just about rather preferred Big Tony fold, so he had a much easier decision to make a call. E would not have been folding. He would have called relatively quickly. But now we'll be folding the wow. best hand. Hates it. See, he hates it. And Tony shows him the nine. And he has folded the best hand, and the twoses wow. no good. So Big Tony, pretty lucky on that one. E not mentioning a word that he had queens. He might be. I don't know. We don't have the uh, the table audio this evening. Just bunker cam and bunker mics. Seven hundred in the live chat, folks. Overtime count five hundred. Get to that like count by ten forty-five. So we've got about an hour and 15 minutes to get us to 500 likes for bonus poker this evening. Let's take a peek. Where are we at? Been happy with the live chat so far, 674, and we tend to increase. We got a little late start. 245, Rick, so we need about, about halfway. Halfway there. And it's about halfway through. We, we started a little late. We'll go to 1045. You got an hour and 15 minutes to get to 200. 55 likes that it takes to get us to 500. We'll go over time. I want to wish everyone and a, a, the long weekend that most people get for Memorial Day. Hope you and yours get to share some time and reflect. It's not just a day off. And if your stuff is lagging a little bit, just kind of close it and reopen. Usually does the trick, close and reopen. Mine is working good now. Wow, E in the hot seat this evening. No action, though. Take a look at our winnings, mixing it up, up 2K. Picked up uh, about 20, 20 subscribers already in the chat. That's always nice. 83.20 on our race to 10K. 10K would be a huge number. I believe March 1st we hit 1K and we celebrated with a bottle of Dom Perignon. Remember that? Seems so long ago. It does really seem like wasn't. a while ago. And then we had to pump the brakes because we were celebrating every other day and that's <laughs> not didn't really feel appropriate. <laughs> But that's nice to raise the expectations. Something to reach for. On our way to 10K subs. So if you have not subscribed already, do yourself a favor and get that out of the way. We need a goal here. Big Daddy Chaz with the nice bet. He's getting in, involved. He said, I didn't drive down up I-35. You know, he came from San Antonio. So he's coming up I-35 and just sit around and not play a hand. I'm going to make a rather large bet of $550 with my 10-8 suited. Over to E with king-queen offsuit. Take yeah. out a purple chip. E and Chaz, very familiar with themselves. They've played together in San Antonio, in Austin, this club, that club. 
your club, my club. Eight, seven, ace. Couple clubs, pair of eights for Big Daddy. Nothing really for E here. Let's see if Chaz goes for the C bet. Like me to take it down if he goes for something along the lines of half pot or so. 1,200 in the skillet goes for a third pot at more four quarter pot, 300. I thought that was 400. Quarter pot bet. Kind of puts E in a tough spot. E holding the king of clubs, though. A little bit of an important card there in case another club peels, but not going to elect to continue. And Chaz with the best hand there takes down the pair of eights. By the way, if you are in Austin, Lodge is open on Memorial Day. Come on out, play some cards. You got the day off. Most of you do. Do a little barbecuing and then come on over to the lodge. Or bring your barbecue with you. No, don't do that. Can't eat at the table, but you we have spots around the club that you have dedicated. Hopefully that'll change sooner rather than later. That was fun when we had the, uh, the food here at the lodge uh, catered daily. Maybe someday we'll get back to that. Getting all sorts of messages from all around. Folks who like this show, who have, who enjoy it, and we appreciate that. We have fun. That we do. Big Tony wondering where it's at. We're in a little stall in the game here. Here comes Big Tony. Looks like somebody made the bet 375. Big Tony calls, as does John G. We'll have to see what's going on with this hand. I think on this hand we have a little bit of technical difficulties. We may have to guess what's going on here. 375 apiece. These two gentlemen having a nice chat with one of another. Probably saying, you know, my shirt's better than yours. So it's Jim, Jimmy Buffett. We'd love this th this duo right here. A little bit of cheeseburger in paradise see, as going the hands, on. We have a little bit of a hold up on this hand here, but the bets are in. And now Nines versus tens, Mikey. Go. Let's see. Gretzky versus 20 miles. Uh -oh. Not Tony miles, 20 miles. Seven four three, couple diamonds. Good flop for a pair of nines and a pair of tens as Tony with the worst of it bets out seven hundred. John G's gonna be going nowhere. Probably just gonna throw out the seven hundred. Don't see him raising. Think he's just gonna make the call here. Does make the call. Keep it low here. Don't put a face card out there. Okay. Put a face card. That's gonna slow things down. Maybe not. Huge bet. We've seen Tony steal one earlier with the worst hand, betting and taking it down. Now this puts John Yo. G in a tough spot. 1,100 here. Jack, a little bit of a confusing, tricky card here, but 10's still pretty strong, but will not continue. So John G folds the best hand there in the pair of 10's, and Big Tony steals another one. Call this man a thief. Triple 152, checking in from New York. Josh Says easily the best announcers of live poker on the entire of YouTube. Well, thank you very much. That's strong, Josh. Appreciate that, strong. buddy. That is not weak sauce. Gmo in the building. Let us know where you're look, watching look at from. Gmo's profile pic there. This man doesn't mess around. Gmo on the Wednesday and Saturday stream there. He's got a new profile pic. New, new profile pic. Who dis? It's Gmo. Well, he's now world famous now. People come up to him in the grocery store. Were you on the Lodge live stream? Yep. Absolutely. That's me. Correct. Our boy Cy was out there in California this uh, past week, and he says people came up to him and said, uh, that's Cy from the, lot, from the live stream. <laughs> Spreading, Rick. Spreading. Nakia says she's here waiting to shoot her shot. We'll, we'll get you in here in about 20, 30 minutes for a few minutes, uh, so work your way on to the bunker yeah, in start, about 20 minutes. Start doing your stretching, Nakia. You know, might want to warm up in the bullpen. Get the arm loose. Then will be your time to shine. 
Seven deuce for knowledge. Again, the seven deuce game in play. And he raises it up large. Raises it up to 1K. 1K is the bet. Doesn't need to be that high. That's kind of fishy. 1K. 40, 40, 40, 40, 1K could have easily done the same thing with a $400 bet, but nobody with anything strong enough to really fight. Here it is. Bones, Come on, $400. Bones knows it. They all knew it. The little bonus, $400 coming Take, knowledge's way. Takes it down. Dangerous. 1K was very, very large. Imagine if somebody just three stuffs on him. So sick. So Rip, sick. Riser's Treasure Hunting Emporium in the house. Always a pleasure. Chris watching from Westboro, Massachusetts. Go Bruins. Mike Gimo says true story. He's being recognized all around. Even got free groceries. Nobody's bought my groceries yet. Copa Cabana. Shout out from Michigan. I love your show. Thank you from Michigan, says Copa. Thank you. It's getting late here. Everybody, has everybody won the seven deuce? Yes. Are we given it I, I three so. times? Is that, or I know twice. I, I know Bones won it. Knowledge yeah, just won it. And John G won it. And John G won yeah, it. Oh, God. Punk so off. three for three. Yeah, three for three on the seven deuce game. Seven minutes left in the Bruins Islanders for game one. Getting a little bit worried, Rick. Not going to lie. A little worried. E makes it 150. Don't know his cards, but Tony Miles with the pocket tens. Here comes Tony. Raises it on up to 600. Bones will get out of the way. Knowledge, who just picked up $400 in the street with a seven deuce. That's always a good feeling. He's got ace 10 suited. Thinking about it. Said I just got 400 easy chips. Knowledge and Tony always going after one another, it seems like. He's going to so call. Makes the call. Green chips are $25, so there's 500 right there, plus the black at 600 E comes along. Don't know what E has. Mystery, Mystery hand. hand. Aaron with the flop. Eight ace four. There's an ace. Knowledge is just loving life right now. Perhaps. Very possible that E might be holding an ace as well. But he checks it over. Has his knowledge back action on Tony. So Tony going to go for a little bit of C-bet here. Rainbow flop goes one-third pot. I like the bet size, six. Knowledge is going to look him up rather quickly there. So that's going to sound the alarms if you're in Camp Miles in the one seat. Quick call from Knowledge. Action on E, pot at 3K. I think E's going to be folding. I don't see him coming along. Up, oh, nope. never mind. Just when you think it's safe, E will come along. So E... Does have something interesting. What do you think he's holding here? Clubs. Now knowledge has the nut yeah. flush draw with the ace. Checks around. E will likely check. Now I think Tony's going to slow down here after getting called with that one third, po third pot size bet and getting called by everybody. Quickly check. So we're going to see a river card. Three of diamonds. So just a pair of aces for knowledge, pair of tens for Tony, and mystery hand for E. Let's see if knowledge goes for. A little river value now that that turn has checked through. That would be a pretty gross feeling, though, if he gets stuffed on. Like to see something along the lines, maybe 1,500, maybe even a little less, 1,200. But he checks, willing to go for I some think, showdown his ace. I think E has some combination of an 8 in his hand. Maybe an 810. He can't have an 810. He could. The last remaining door ten, is eight, open nine. for him to make a rather large bet and put the pressure on his opponents. Large bet. Tony's not going to call. The only decision would come down to knowledge. He just has a pair of aces. Medium kicker in the 10. E taking a lot of time here. Making a decision. Reaching for the plums. Going for that. Wow. Half says that 16. 2.2. 2 
back over to knowledge. Maybe I was wrong. I, I just, what do you think he has? Well, we're going to find Call. out. He's got not a winner. What, he had a 7-4. Seven, seven, I think that was a 7-4. Seven, 7-5. Seven, five. Seven, so five. he had the busted club draw and the busted uh, straight draw. So clubs would have been trouble. Oh, God. Knowledge. Bruins. Oh, hat trick for Pasternak. Oh, man. Oh, God. Ah! It's game one. You're only down $50 to me plus a sandwich. Oh, we didn't do sandwich. Oh, God damn it. It's okay, Mikey. It's a seven-game series. We'll go four. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We might lose Mikey here. If there were a ledge, he'd be jumping off now. 4-2 Bruins. But knowledge, what a call. 2200 he didn't have much of a kicker at all. Had the ace. $2,200 big bet. Yeah, Pasternak with the hattie. It's brutal. It stings. They'll get back to Long Island after another game in Boston. And the chat is just relentless on you, Mikey. We got more Bruins fans in here than than Islanders. I hate to tell you, it's a knowledgeable fan base we have. One fifty is the bet from mixing it up with seven deuce. All right, can seven deuce go four for four tonight? We've already seen it three times go oh, through. Looking for the bonus. Two players have a pair, so they're not going to be folding. Mixon didn't make it large enough for them to be folding pre. So he's got to fade a uh, five or an eight, and he's got a good chance of putting in a large C bet. Let's see what the flop brings. A six. Pretty favorable Jack, flop for Mixon to go something along the lines of 300 here. He checks it, not willing to go for that C bet there. The door was open. Mm, another Jack. Might go for the delayed C bet. Let's see. Check Mixon's got to go for it. You got to go for it. Got to go for it. 300. Huge. Oh, oh. What is he going He's going just going to make it a very, little bet. 115. 115. Very milky. So milky <laughs> that Miles has snap folded, but E, not that familiar with Mixon. 115, not enough. Yeah. I think there might be a big bet on the end here. Let's see. Six. Now, the ace, they will be chopping this. Unless one of them needs to go, the other needs to off. go very, very big here. It needs to be at least pot. Pot or like 800. Let's see what Mixon elects to do. E checks and to play the board. It needs to be very, very high to get him off of this chop. 525, not enough. E, I think E makes this call. Fold. Ooh, he folds. Four for four now, seven deuce, fifty dollars coming didn't from wanna, every player. Didn't want to put that much in there. The chop. Wow, could have been done with a C bet on the flop. Got a little hairy there, and now the seven deuce, four for four. Wow, taking it down. Those four hundred dollar kiss are fantastic. Seven fifteen in the live chat. We haven't checked. We haven't checked in a while. The I'll go out and come back in and see how many likes we have because. We have a total of 291 likes. So we're about one, two, one hour away, folks. 209 away. We're good. Just tell them those spin. Just keep playing the seven deuce right now. Next hand coming. John G, 5-3 offsuit. E looks down at 9-10. Little black screen there. Oh, my goodness. Mike Gimo. Gimo with the $99.99 super chat. Aces next time. Hard pass on the Cowboys. Wow, Gimo. Thank you. 
We really liked having you here in town. Hopefully you will be back really soon. Get you back on that live stream. So generous. $99.99 super chat. Wow. Very nice. E will come along, as does Mixing It Up. Mixing It Up made the bet to 75 with his Jack-10 offsuit. Flop comes 6-4 deuce. Fold. Tony Miles will win this hand. Tony says, give me that pot. With his Seahawk jersey, Tony Miles, 2018 World Series of Poker main event runner-up. Took home five mil that day. Five million. Cumulative winnings. Knowledge up $5,900. Mixing it up, up 2600 Big Daddy. Chaz up nine ten. T big Tony. A lot of bigs in this place up 795 bones down ten dollars bones down a water burger value meal scotland down 485 john g down 1200 tony miles down 3400 and e down 5200 dollars throwing the small wedding with the open bar right now e 5200 i'd say a wedding of about 40 people with the open bar Seven twenty-eight in the live chat. We've got about an hour, less than an hour, to get to five hundred likes. Last we checked, we were at two ninety-one, so we're about a little over two hundred away. V Pip E fifty percent leading the way. Bones thirty-five percent. Tony Miles thirty-two percent. At the knowledge, at at the bottom is knowledge, twenty-two percent. V Pip. Six ninety nine in the live chat. Skull Mike back in the bunker. Skull Mike, while you were gone, Gmo very generously gave a ninety nine dollar and ninety nine cent super chat. Wow, what a boss! Gmo coming in strong. Must be all those free groceries. So, oh, we're on that delay. Never mind. I'm not going to spoil it yet. Eighty dollars. Would I miss any big hands big here? Big Daddy. Not really. Aaron with the flop. King 10-6. Couple of diamonds out there. E with a diamond. A pair of sixes for mixing it up. Queen of Hearts. Now we've got a straight draw for Big Daddy Chaz. Timothy Murphy says 315 likes now with about 55 minutes we're going to go 500 to count folks i'm starting to sweat it i'm getting a little nervous get us there it's pretty, very easy to do if you think about it 150 on the river from e seti mcgetty on the river small little milky bet wants to get called by king queen 10 but nobody has much of anything so he takes down a small pot little seti mcgetty Saturday night, the big game. <laughs> Nick from Yuma, the mayor, says you had to go out and blow off some steam. Now he was he's actually doing some business out there. Where we got 250 remaining in the Shut up, game. Rick. Shut up. Should we just wait till the end of the series to collect money, or are we going to collect each game? At the end of the series, buddy. I kind of like to collect each game. No, no, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I don't have it. I gotta, <laughs> gotta go out and beg. Venmo me. Nick from Yuma is gonna lend me fifty bucks, or I'm gonna take Gmo super chat money. I'll pay you with that. I'm broke, right? Like Miles in the one three games. He broke, Rick. What's Tony Miles doing in a one three game? Yeah, that was the comment we were getting on Wednesday. Yeah. He's here having a good time playing poker. 
Saturday night, the big game, uncapped, about 70K plus on this table. Did I mention, and I'll, I've got some news that I want to talk about after this hand. We'll wait to this because E raises on up to 350, mixing it Seven up. Seven Dewey. It's been undefeated tonight. Everybody with the seven Dewey has gotten paid. V-Pip is voluntary put in pot, put money in pot. So anything but a blind, if you're in the pot, counts towards V-Pip. John G will not be punked for 350 bucks. We'll at least see a flop. As we'll mix in, so we're going to go three-way. We are playing the seven-deuce game, folks. If you are late into the chat, hit that like button and subscribe. Ooh, there's a deuce still mixing it up with his Gretzky. Nine's in the lead here, but very possible that one of his opponents could be holding a king. E very calm, cool, and collective will go for a C-bet. King-deuce, five, rainbow flop, 350. Putting Mixon in a tough spot. See you later, Gmo. Thanks again for the oh, super chat. John. Mixon gets away. Wow, here we go. Shows it. Send the bonus. Five for five, seven deuce. Game, $400 bonus from around the table. Here it comes. <laughs> and knowledge has to pay up. And Big Tony's going, okay, that's... $250 out of my pocket for this two do seven game. Who's the dealer talked to in the headset in the bunker? It's Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy is donning the headset. He talks to Aaron, the dealer. The Wizard of Lodge is freed up to do his magic on his Stradivarius. Did Boston score again, Mikey? I told you, don't. You were so excited when the Islanders went up one nothing. You came over and put your finger in my face and said, you, 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 you. I said, Mikey, don't get so excited. I just don't want the Bruins to just score all their goals here. Empty netter, Rick. Game's over. I love empty netters. On to the next hand. We'll deal them out now. Triple straddle. $40 by Scotland. Bones. Get rid of his hand. Nine deuce. Over to Knowledge. K9 suited. ER nurse and gamer. I want to play at the lodge. Well, come on. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You're trying to get in this game, too. Shoot me an email, skullmikepokergmail.com, or visit the website, lodgelive.com. Fill out the questionnaire. Big Daddy Chaz with the ladies. Been rather patient all night. He knows what to do with these. Big, big raise. Ladies. We haven't played the ladies tonight. Yes, we have. All right. You've been too busy. People. people. Hey, 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 ladies. There we go. Mm-hmm. A little pissed off now. Slick Rick up fifty dollars tonight. A little pissed. He'll probably blow it on the one two tables after two hands. <laughs> Could be. Could be. Overplaying Ace King like you always do. <laughs> Ten deuce four. Skittles. Do have one heart out there. Nice flop for a pair of queens though. Action on Chaz. One point five in the middle, and we might go. 500 here, about third pot or so. Quick fold there by Knowledge. Big Daddy goes for 525. Knowledge not willing to chase any longer. Folds it. So where is uh, Tony's hometown in Florida, right? Where's his home base? Who? Who? Tony Miles. Florida. Florida. Yeah, Tony and Noah are from Florida. Orlando area, outside Orlando, near... I believe Tony grew up in the Jacksonville area. 
Tony Miles in the building all week. And that schedule, people will be in the building week <laughs> after week. Charles Kennedy writes in, Skull Mike, the Boston jersey that you might have to wear for an entire stream is being prepared <laughs> for you. They're already talking like it's over. I know it's not over. It's a seven-game series. It'll go four, maybe five. You guys had enough yet? Enough yet? Too bad, man. They're just piling on. Wow. Wow. Michael Lewis uh, uh, can't have shuffle machine with the RFID cards. There's a chip inside every card, and they would ruin the cards. Plus, our dealers know how to shuffle. Thanks, though. We will keep dealers shuffling. He in position here on the button. Trying to thin down the field. Not sure what Bones has. A little bit of a mystery hand. So Bones now, oh, oh, hello. Bones has a pair of kings, four betting to one. Let's see what he raised it up to here. We're trying to adjust some things here in the bunker. There now we're good. 1.1. One. Wow. He makes the call. Bones and E. Deuce, deuce, nine. Bones way ahead. 89%. E, ace of spades already spoken for. So he's looking at the ace of diamonds or ace of clubs. Bones reaches for a plum chip, 500, and adds a couple blacks to it. Makes it 800 to go. E will get rid yep. of his big slick. And they're talking back and forth. Lock Greasy, welcome back. Jakey the Snake Stein is in the chat. What's up, Jake? Timothy Murphy going for to try six for six on the seven deuce squad deuce. Cumulative winnings. Look at knowledge up fifty two hundred. Mix it on up. Twenty one one hundred. Big Daddy Chaz up 1,500. Bones up 1,200. Eight hundred and seven in the live chat. Spiking now as the folks from around the world are tuning in now as they're waking up. Probably in Germany. In Germany. Growing Berlin. in Germany. Berlin loves my jokes. Heard on schoolyards all over Berlin. 10-10-5. Still quiet in India. Crickets in India. They've been having the trouble. India they're still. Just, they're in lockdown with the COVID. They should be watching poker, Rick. Tens have been on like every single flop tonight. You have a pair of tens. You are scooping pots. E with the spade draw. Doesn't come. There's a queen. Scotland now with two pair. E with 11 outs, though. Deuce of clubs on the river. Kind of meaningless there. Yeah, fives are going to be good here. Not much action here. E has shut down on this pot. Jakey Stein in the building. What's up, my guy? Benjamin says, morning, folks. See? No, Scotland has checked. Now E trying to steal this one. Goes for a 125. Scotland. Scotland's been having a rough go tonight. He's going to no, make the call. Him up. Good, good for Scotland. He'll make the call. Jack High, no good. Pair of fives will be good for Scotland. He'll take it down. 
Scotland takes down a little pot. 420 plays it if you got it. He won to 420. Jacob Diaz watching from the Bay Area. Welcome, Jacob. Yep, let us know where you guys are watching from, except if it's from Boston. I don't want to hear you guys. Boston can just go away. Thank you. And hit that subscribe button, folks. If you're watching for the first time, Slick Rick and the Skull here live from the bunker, 41, 40.1 feet below table 11. No windows. Very, very cold down here. But we're here every Wednesday and Saturday night, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So subscribe. Don't be a stranger. Come back and join us every single week because that's what you're supposed to be doing. Special guests coming soon. Nakia, if you are in the house, come on in. Yes. Now would be a good time for you to come on in and don the headset. Let me go grab her. Yeah. Bring Nakia in. When the, the Chatsville wants to talk to Nakia. Scotland raises it on up to 330. He just won a pot, feeling a little frisky. Knowledge with King, Queen of Diamonds. Did knowledge, knowledge three bet to 1,000 with the Ooh, here comes John G. with ace-queen suited. Scotland gets out of the way. Said, what did I get myself into there? And we're going to go heads up. Knowledge versus John G. 2,400 already in the skillet. Ace-6-3. Skittles. Pair of aces for John G. Knowledge. Continue his story with a $700 bet. Over to John G. John G's going to raise it on up. John G drinking his coffee. Don't spill it, John G. It's an RFID table. Be careful with that coffee. Cumulative winnings knowledge now up 3,500. Mix it on up, up 2,100. Big Daddy Chaz up 1,500. Bones up 1100 and E throwing the party at 5100. And we have a special guest in the bunker who made her way down the 40.4 feet down into the bunker. You know her, you've seen her on Ladies' Night, the princess of VPIP herself, the one and only Nakia. Nakia, how are you? I'm good, Rick. How are you? Oh, <laughs> look at that <laughs> voice. Sounds smooth already. Oh, God. If Gary C is in. Oh, oh, my God. goodness. Gary C uh, oh. abandoned me, so. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's probably a good thing. Yeah. Probably good. Yeah. But the real salami's out there. you got to watch out for him. <laughs> Nakia of uh, the, the Princess of EPIP and of Devil Dem uh, Eggs fame, you're going to be co hosting with Ruthless, the great Ruth Hall on. The seventh for ladies night. You've played in it many times, but now you're going to put on the headset. I you're going to have some fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, it's always good to be part of the chat. I love the chat uh, community. My husband always makes fun of me <laughs> about how many times I come into the chat and say hi, everyone, and they say, hey, Nakia. <laughs> but it's fun. So, yeah, it's a, it's it's a, a family. He's just jealous. It is. That We're a family hey, here. So. It is a family. And, but, you know, of course, everybody knows your husband, Joe, is a uh, you know, poker room manager of this great place we call the Lodge. And you're in real estate, but you love the game of poker. Tell us how you got to start playing Chat, poker. Chat's blowing up already. So, um, actually, my ex taught me how to play poker, but uh, poker is what brought Joe and I together. That's um, good. <laughs> yeah, table five, seat one at Maryland Live. So, wow. Yes. <laughs> now, was he what was he was dealing? He or? was dealing, and uh, I was in seat one, and I was giving him the business. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was. Um, and before he left, I said, what, you're going to leave and not even give me your number? Wow. <laughs> oh, you get go. it. Get it, Nakia. <laughs> Nakia. Absolutely. Don't let those guys get out that door. Oh, no. Get the no. info you need, folks. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. So um, you, so you, and then from then on, you always played at his, look for his table to go sit down at. Well, you know, Maryland Live is a 52-table poker room. Wow. So we just happened to 
run into each other that night because I'd been there many, many times and never saw him. But it was great. You know, I love it. I love him, of course. Of course. Yeah. And I will follow him any, anywhere. So we are happy to be here at the Lodge. Well, yeah. You know, when he told you, I, I, there's this, this this place called the Lodge in Round Rock, <laughs> Texas. They play poker, and they want me to come. Your first thought? Let's go. Oh, wow. <laughs> that okay. was my first thought. Uh, we were living in Vegas. Right. Um, the best thing that happened to us in Vegas was we got married there. So nice. other than that, um, you know, we were always kind of looking for the next thing. And when he had this opportunity, I was very happy and proud of him. And, you know, it's showing, you know, all of his hard work, the management staff, the dealers, right. you know, are amazing here. So Yeah, well, he's he's one of the great ones, and he's really fit in and hit the ground running and made this place a better place. Let's look at this hand together, all right, uh, Nakia, we'll, we'll – uh, Talk about this hand. John G. with sixes. Scotland with a pair of threes. And Big Tony and Bones with the same hand. King, Queen, and and Slot Machine. 7-7-7 seven, seven, seven comes. Two players right. hit a boat, Nakia. Uh, well, let me just say this. I, at this point, am, you know, I'm Big Tony. I'm probably either checking or and waiting to fold. Right. <laughs> but uh, I am the princess of V-Pip, as they yes. call me. So I might actually call just to spike something <laughs> there you go well the two boats do call oh, oh. princess <laughs> princess of Ephip's float would have got saying. there on the turn <laughs> i'm just saying it happens it works yeah, sometimes <laughs> but those those queens have head for the hills now it's sixes versus threes boat versus boat john in good shape but that queen slows down the action we take a two of clubs on the river john g's still good you know john g was not happy with me what happened? Well, because I didn't bring him double bass. Oh, God. So he Just tell him Alex happy. ate them all. <laughs> you know, that's the thing Big you Daddy do. D. We got Big Daddy you, Chaz at the table, but he was excited for those eggs. Racer Nerd he says was. Nakia is a ride-or-die woman. I am a ride-or-die woman. There you go. I am the woman you want by your side, so yes. that's what Joe loves about me. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, okay. everybody remembers the night you came dressed in all red for ladies' night. And uh, you 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 were you were tearing it up that night. Was that your birthday night? That was my birthday. Yes. Um, yes. And that was the honorary first uh, night for Ladies' Night. And yes. I thank you guys for putting that together. It yeah. was fun. Um, the ladies' East. Night has been a hit. It's going to be happening here on that first Monday in June. Yes, I'm looking forward to commentating with Ruth. Um, she is amazing. I love her you know, analysis and how she can still joke around. Yes. Because let me just say this. You're not going to get the analysis from me. You're going to get the jokes. So. Good, good. Well, we're <laughs> hoping. And, you know, Skull wow. Mike and I are going to be in the live chat that night. So we make sure you look for our little comments like we look for yours. Joke of the night, I courtesy will. of Nakia. She's been preparing already, I can I'm tell. I am preparing. I am ready. So, you know, hopefully the joke won't disappoint you guys. All right. So All Big right, Tony, so. Seti Maggetti. Oh, Open ended here yeah. for mixing it up, though. So mixing now it up is going to be I'm going nowhere. Up, I'm not going anywhere. Of course, right. not. <laughs> of course, not. not for 210. In position, no. he'll be making the call. Absolutely. Might even consider raising. Taking his time, electing to what to do. Tony's been rather snug all night. And Mixon reaching for a plum chip. So he is going for that raise. Makes it 550. Maybe hopes of seeing a cheap turn card. But Big Tony's hand, too good, too strong. Absolutely won't be folding. Might even re pop. Let's see. I like it. Does repop. Yep. Makes it a smooth, what's that, 2100? So. If you want to see that turn, you're going to have to pay for it. Exactly. 2.1, pretty expensive. Big Tony. Seti Maggetti. It would have been a little bit nicer if you're holding the Jack Queen. You know, where you have the two overs yeah, at least. At least, but. I'm okay with the 7-8. Seven, 7-8 eight. Seven, eight not looking as strong. No <laughs> hearts on this flop, so you got no backdoor possibilities here. So that's going to get it done there. Tony says, get out of my pot. Nakia's in the booth. i got to show her who's boss. <laughs> Little black screen there. We'll get through it. Kristen Stein says, Nakia, excited to have you on the mic and looking forward to your next big debut. So a friend of yours, a fellow yes. Ladies' Night contestant, and Victoria says, you know, Joe is the best boss ever. So well, Joe know, getting some shout outs. He's getting some love, and I love that. Uh, hi, Kristen. Uh, <laughs> Kristen actually came over for one of the ladies' nights at my house. Oh, nice. Yeah, we had a really good time. That's awesome. So what happens at ladies' night stays at ladies' of night. Of course. So we'll just leave it at that. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm really worried about you. Between you and Ruth, you guys like the dirty jokes. Oh, yeah. I, let, it, let it go. You know, you guys We're gonna go let for it. it. Fly. You know. <laughs> 
just don't cancel us. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to get out in front of this right now. Yeah. As we have uh, having a little bit of technical difficulties. Yes. So overtime is not going to happen tonight, folks. We have about another 15 or 20 minutes. Then we're going to have to make some updates to uh, the cameras and such. So we're probably just going to end up calling it in about 15, 20 minutes. Maybe we get another 25 minutes. And that's just what we're going to have to do tonight. We, we to promise the, to make it up to you yeah, on we Wednesday night. <clears throat> we will make it up to you and guaranteed overtime on Wednesday yeah, night. Off the jump. All right. But I just wanted, I to, get, to, just wanted to get that Sometime, out here right I, now. I think a lot had to do with yesterday's electrical storm. Uh, the place got hit yeah. pretty hard, and uh, we had to readjust some things. Yeah, so. there was some water in the roof coming down. Yep. So kind of messed up a little bit with our wires. We're going to get that fixed here. But just wanted to get that done before the you know, the screen goes black for good, right. potentially. Here in the booth. Set of jacks for knowledge. Yep. Seti McGetty. This Seti is trouble McGetty. here for Chaz, hitting with that ace, too. Chaz has been waiting to get active. A very aggressive player here, a very smart player. And knowledge is going to make it 275. Action on Chaz is a pretty good flop for ace-queen. John G. says, another sexy voice in the booth. Well, thank you, John G. Oh, you're talking about Nakia. All right, I get it. I hope so. Thank you, John G. I appreciate it. Heads up now, ace-queen versus the set. Deuce of spades. 1K in the middle. Chaz slows down. Knowledge will not be slowing down. He's probably going to make this. Woody's going to make this. Maybe He's been going pretty high on his bets. He might go somewhere along the lines of like 750. Sharon Barth with the $20 super chart. Thanks for the Rick coin run good. Used it all day, but it ran out in 12th. 12th out of 120. Not too That's bad. That's good, too Sharon. Bad. Not too That's bad. That's great, Sharon. I can't last in tournaments. I got to tell you, uh, my my type of play, my style of play <laughs> does not work well in tournaments. It God. works in cash, though. <laughs> it works in cash, but I learned a long time ago. Huh? Deuce on the river. There's Deuce. the boat for knowledge. Yeah, I won the tournament last night there, Nakia. I was oh, yeah, uh, I heard. had some good good run and got home about three in the morning. You know, after you win a tournament, you don't sleep. No. I don't think I slept two na two hours. You don't usually <laughs> sleep. I know it's been tr it's tough. Action on knowledge here. He's got Jack's full. Yeah, he's gonna get now he's gonna get called here by Chaz. Thank you, Wonder Boy. Seventeen hundred. I don't see Chaz getting away from this one. Would be a heck of a I hold. advise you, Nakia, when you yes. come in, you and Ruth, dress warmly. <laughs> we got to keep it cold in here, so you need to, you know, be prepared. I, I yeah, usually leave out of here iced over. All right, well, I, I will be prepared because good. I don't like to be cold. Got to get that run good hoodie on. I do need to get that on. And if any of you are in the mood for real estate in the Austin area, Nakia is... Your lady. Your, your lady. I'm currently looking for uh, a spot for Racer Nerd. He wants a tent in the underneath 35 oh, here. Oh, God. So. Don't, no more tents. <laughs> no more tents. But, uh, hey. Makes the call here. So Big Daddy's going to pay that wow. one. Wow. Yeah. Knowledge is the big winner tonight. And like uh, Skull Mike mentioned, folks, we've got about another 10 minutes or so. Kevin in the booth. What's up, Kevin? Or in the chat. Sorry we had to end it a little early. We started a little late, ended a little early. But listen, we got on tonight, which was something of a feat con considering yeah, we were, what we were, happened we were yesterday. Little, we were a little worried that was not even going to happen at all. Knowledge up 6,300. Mixing it up, up 1,500. Big Tony up 1,200. And you see Ooh. E. Ooh, here comes Clarence. Clarence. What's up, Clarence? This guy's a gangster. His real name is Clarence. <laughs> So we've been playing the seven deuce game for the first two. Big Daddy Chaz with a relatively soft spin, soft, but still, nonetheless, it landed on. We uh, what did it land on? It was on. We we changed one of the uh, the wheels, the categories, and it's going to be an ante. So every hand is going to be a five dollar ante from each player. So we're playing five five, but now there's going to be a lot more dead money in the pot as we have Clayton. 6-8 Clayton about to sit down in the booth to deal the rest of this game. Again, it's probably going to be in maybe hopefully 10 more minutes or so. We'll see what happens, but Clinton. Ante in play. Clayton still holds the record. He could sit at table 11 and <laughs> shuffle chips on table 3 oh, yeah. by sitting with his, his long arms. Well, you know, I had to have uh, – I had Clayton as a client. Uh, he and 
Lang um, as clients, and I actually had to have Clayton shimmy through a window. <laughs> 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 so it was very helpful for him to be tall. And yes, lanky. that's funny. And Lang is the uh, short roommate of the two. Yeah. As Clayton goes about six nine, folks. I and told uh, Clayton if uh, he didn't get the master bedroom, he's getting the shaft because he did all the work with me <laughs> <laughs> to look for a place. So, yeah. so we removed the uh, stack of player bonus from Clarence and replaced it with the ante. So we're doing the, the ante moving forward. I think that's a better option. We did the stack of player one last time, and it's hard to stack a player, especially when we're playing this deep. So that wasn't happening enough. I like to do seven. That happened about five or six times in that first go around, so that was pretty like that. sweet. But now we have the ante in play. And no, Cheryl, I didn't win the Thursday free roll. I won the, the Friday night last night's Friday night freeze out. That's the, there were sixty entries. And that's harder. To comb twelve hundred. I like freeze outs better. Yeah. Because I don't. I I like to know that every chip counts, and somebody's going to have to really, if you if you make a bet. It's for their tournament life. They can't just go and rebuy again. That I like the true. freeze outs. He raising this one up pretty big. 325, ace four of club, small blind. Like the play out of the small blind. And doesn't look like anyone's going to call. So he's going to get a lot of that dead money plus the antes and win a nice little pot there. Not too bad when you're playing ace four out of position there in the small blind. You're happy to take down the pot pre or at least go heads up, try and isolate. Nobody wants to play with E, and he's going to stack some chips. Lock Greasy says the lodge sounds like a big, happy family. It really is. It really is, and that's what I enjoy about being here. You know, that's one of the things we didn't get when we were living in Vegas. You know, I'm from Maryland, so I had family there anyway. But, you know, that's one of the things that I love about being here. You feel like family. Yeah. You know, I walked in and, you know, gave Kara a hug at the front desk. Right. Michelle, who is a great dealer. Um here i mean you just get to know everybody you get to know them and when you walk in it's it, it is like like family and uh it's just a great place we invite you to join us anytime we're open 24 hours a day it's uh we've got a lot of security so you can feel safe as a, as a woman playing here at the lodge um you know it, it's we get to have so many women that play here mm -hmm. and they feel safe i do i do feel safe you know with the security you can have them walk you to your car um, you know, it's it's very well lit parking lot. Right. So that's important. You know, if you're coming here as a female by yourself, so. And even you know, at the table, you're treated. You know, so so many times, you you know, women might be a little intimidated to go, and mm -hmm. but we've got so many women that play here. It's, you know, there are times when I'm at a table and there's six women, and uh, and I'm the only guy at the table in a tournament. It's crazy. And you feel intimidated. Yes. Then, right? Oh, of course. <laughs> Ace, ten, six, six, couple diamonds, two pair uh, for two bones. Two pair for bones. Scotland's going to try and see about this one, making it 40. He's got nothing. Paul Richardson, plenty of hotels near the lodge. One we recommend a lot is the Marriott Round Rock, located literally a mile and a quarter away from the lodge, right across the highway. But you could find you know, any hotel in the Round Rock I-35 area will be close to the lodge. Yeah, um... I know there's a. Okay, looks like that might be it. Um, as uh, once again, we're going to call it a night, folks. Uh, we promise to make it up for you on Wednesday for the great one, the Wizard of Lodge, Dave Claproth, for Wonder Boy, for Mikey the Skull Reisman, and our special guest tonight, Nakia, who will be here for Ladies' Night with Ruth Hall. This is Slick Rick Epstein seeing you Wednesday night for special coverage on Poker Night at the Lodge. <laughs>